Good morning, it's Sunday. It is a busy day. I am at a second Home Depot. Did you know they cut wire shelves over here? Like a 12 footer, they cut it for you. I didn't know that. These things only come as a one pack for a 20 inch shelf and it's $7.98 each. Am I, is that crazy? That's so expensive, damn. Morning. I did this yesterday. But anyway, I'm at the library and I'm going to return the five books that I didn't even finish. <laughs> Note to self, only borrowed two books at a time. I'm gonna see if I can renew the Super Freakonomics because I do want to check that out. But then I was at the same time like I didn't want to start that one without reading the Ichigo Ichie, so I didn't even get to finish anything. So anyway, it's been really really busy. I'm like even hesitant to film this part because I have so much footage that I haven't even gotten to at all. I just my priorities have been just not as usual i really want to grow this channel and i want to post more shorts because they get really fast a uh, high amount of views and i just want to lure some new viewers in because i understand my content is not like a tutorial it's uh, mostly vlog style so it's not very shareable which means um it's not really gonna grow but i like it to grow because my my hope for the future of this channel is that it will monetize, it will, you know, generate enough income to support the things that I want to do, home repair, home building construction wise for the elderly, um, but we'll see, like low income elderly. Which I'm kind of realizing like a lot of elderly people are very wealthy. <laughs> the introvert in me could not sit in there and eat because I locked eyes with the guy that was sitting across the freaking restaurant. <laughs> I left. But let's see what this looks like. It's about to be someone passing by my car, but I don't really care right now. It's gonna smell so crazy. Ooh, that looks so good. Why is he so funny? He is so fu That's the camera, by the way, so I can see him. It's actually pretty good. It is Friday. Happy Veterans Day. I think a lot of people are off. I am not. I have three jobs. 10 o'clock for a returning client. 1.30 for a new client through TaskRabbit, three shelves. 6 o'clock for a uh, new client, TaskRabbit, TV mount, shelf, and mirror. Other than the TV mod, they're both from Ikea. So I think I'm gonna be able to nap between because I did 6 a.m. yoga. And by the way, this shirt is so... Don't worry, it doesn't go that far. Uh, this shirt is just so tight around my neck, dude. I am working on my November P&Ls um, for the state of Washington. You have to file excise tax, which is basically sales tax that I add on when, I, uh, when my clients hire me directly. And it is 10.25 because there's no income tax here. And when your business is new, you have to file it monthly. So, I mean, I always did my P&Ls, like my bookkeeping every month anyway, but it's like an extra step. And then also knowing that I have a deadline, which is like at the end of the month, really. It's like three weeks into the next month. I don't have to do it till then. So it's not that big of a deal, but because I'm leaving for Japan this month, I gotta get it done sooner. And it's already 11, what the? Okay, I gotta do this. I also write down how much I spend um, every single day at these. Wow, it fit. It fit in a compact car, isn't that amazing? 61 inches. I think it, had I just purchased it uh, 72 inches, six feet, it would have fit too you know, 10 more inches. Um, but 
yeah that would have added another 40 minutes of me cutting which i you know i don't mind obviously that's gonna be money for me but it just takes me so long four of them <laughs> total of five hours of billable hours but i've been gone since nine it is a little past five but i have to get gas i desperately needed gas and i went to the 7-eleven where this lady was mugged i mean almost mugged um they stole her purse i was so afraid i just went out and went into 7-eleven with my apron on and i like had my keys ready to go about the about to dance with somebody. This is an apron that I work with. I almost want to get another one because it's all stained already. But anyway, I ordered, oh, okay, this is the battery converter because I got, man, I have a feeling this is not gonna work. So I got the Works again, the Works portable vacuum. It's cute, cute, very sturdy looking. Uh, but I bought it without the battery because I actually have four DeWalt 20 volt batteries because I have my batteries in my old drill. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy it without the battery and see if this would work. This side, can I? Oh, it is this side. Okay. I went back to the works because I feel like there isn't another really easy to use portable Oh my god, it does fit. Oh, wow. Two speeds. One. Two. Okay, great. Because this, you could buy like a three-year warranty or something. So I did that um, for like an additional, I don't know how much I spent, like 25 bucks or something. And then the adapter was also 20 something dollars. So it ended up being almost the same cost as buying it with the batteries. But at least with this, I don't have to carry the charger for the works battery, the works battery, which only came with one anyway. And then, um, yeah, I could just put the dual battery in here, in here cause now I have four. Okay, so this is the other thing that I got, which is so crazy. I never spend this much money, but I don't own a suitcase anymore. Uh, when I work for this surf company in Hawaii, which I think still exists, it's like on, it's under the Billabong umbrella. So they carried Billabong. And um, with my 50% off, it was like a hundred and something. But anyway, so I, I had this like giant check-in black, like interesting, uh, like very discreet but pretty print from Billabong. And I used that suitcase since 2007 or something. And I had it and it still is so good in great condition, but it's with my ex and he can throw it away or whatever he wants to do. So I don't have a suitcase anymore. And for carry-ons, I've just been using duffel bags. And I was like, you know what? Let me get a carry-on that is going to be nice and it'll last me. Because I have been using my, the last couple of times I traveled, I was using my ex's Herschel carry-on, which was such good quality, so nice. But I got this one from Monos. And I got this on Nordstrom as well. The color is um very similar to my pink jacket. So I feel like it's a little too matchy matchy. So I kind of want to go return it and get the green one. Um, but it is so pretty. I have never uh, spent this much on a suitcase. It looks like this on the inside. Too matchy matchy. Like if I was traveling like this, it's just too matchy matchy, I feel. I don't think I filmed my first job, which was TV mounting a mirror and a floating shelf. That was a whole hour for all three things. And then I had TV mounting, a 55 inch TV and a 32 inch TV. 
that was about an hour. And then I had three hours of putting in four of these wire shelves. And it was so cute. The client's two kids are so freaking cute and they're so respectful and so like friendly and talkative. I love working for them. Um, but anyway, I put those in. So I need a bill. I got two extra brackets, so I need to return that. But I, to remember like how to bill for the materials used, I always try to keep the, um, the trash, the packaging. Whenever you do wire shelves, don't forget to buy these end caps because if you are uh, cutting them custom size, um, having them cut at custom size, which I, ha I had them do, the ends that they cut with bold bolt cutters are super sharp and get dagger so